Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial and today it's on the F Jetpack 2 Reloaded plugin. So this is a really cool plugin which as you can see right in front of you allows you to have jetpacks in Minecraft. Now by default there's two different ones however you can make more and customize them. Now the cool thing about this is they have different amounts of fuel so you can refuel them if they were to stop and then you can set what happens when a jetpack runs out of fuel. So we're going to jump into the commands and then show you how to edit in the config file. So as you can see here, I've got a few examples. We have the member jetpack and as you can see, these two have different amounts of fuel. And the way you refuel one of these is by getting the item, so in this case it's coal, and then just drag and left click over it and now it has 17 and we can grab some more coal. Click on this and now they both have 32 coal. And then if we look at the VIP jetpack, you can see there is three Pertamax fuel which is this item here, so premium fuel. I've got one of these, I can click on it, and then that makes it four. So that is how you would refuel with an item. If we do the command forward slash FJ2R, that's gonna show us all of the commands. Now, another cool command is the set fuel command. So if we were to do this, we could set it to 64, for example, with the item we're holding. And if we have a look, you can see the fuel has gone up to 64. Now, if you want to get one of these jetpacks, you can do the FJ2R command and then either get or give. And then I'm going to choose the VIP jetpack and you can set how much fuel you get with it when it arrives. And if you have a look here, we've got the 96 fuel one and then 64. So if you were to pop one of these on, you can see I'm currently wearing it and you need to hit the shift button to turn it on and off. So now that it's off, if I were to double jump, that is not actually going to do anything. I need to turn it on as you can see in chat, then double jump, and then I can fly around. Now the final command is obviously the reload command if you were to change any of these files, which we're going to look at right now. So here we are in the plugin folder. You don't need to look at the config, that is basically empty. We just want to look at the custom fuel and jetpack.yml. So in custom fuel, what we can do is simply copy and paste the existing fuel. So go all the way to the end, paste it in, and this one could be, let's call it gas. So you can see I've quickly made a brand new one and edited some of the names and law. So we can go ahead and save that and have a look at it in a second. Now, if we go into the jetpack file, we can actually create a brand new one of these. So let's go ahead and copy and paste the VIP one. So scroll all the way down, it's quite a big file. So we're gonna copy this and we are going to paste it under here. So obviously what we need to do is change the names. This one's gonna be called admin and then I'm going to go through and change some of the other stuff. So a couple of things that I edited, obviously the title of it and the law and display name you could edit. And then if we scroll down, I've changed the item to a diamond chest plate. Now, if you use leather, for example, you can set the color here and that would make it blue. Do you want it unbreakable? Yes or no? What do you want to happen when the fuel is empty? Remove the jetpack, drop it or nothing. Same for on death. Then we have the speed of the jetpack. So the default one was 1.1. I've made this a little bit higher and you can choose a value between minus 10 and 10. And then down here we've got particles, so enable that true. And then these two down here we can actually delete because they are optional and I don't have either of these plugins for it to hook into. So the first thing I did was get the brand new gas I created and as you can see it's called admin and it is an emerald as we set in the config file. And then we can also give ourselves the brand new admin one and let's give it 32. And here we go. So it looks pretty nice. It is a diamond chest plate this time which is going to make it a bit more interesting. And then if we turn this on, we should be flying a little bit faster than the previous one as I bumped up the speed as well. But here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated for 1.8, 1.19. And you can see this is how it works. There's a particle effect and there's various bits of information, permissions down here and the YML files. So if you want to download it, head over to this page. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next week.